hello everyone i'm finally filming this video that i've been promising for so long and it is a big clothing haul of all the things that i bought in america and a couple things that i bought here in the uk now i'm gonna link what i can in the down bar but being as i bought a lot of it from america I might not be able to get the links, however, I will try and link something similar. Like I know I've got a few things from American Eagle, which we can't get here, but I can probably find similar on ASOS. But yeah, first of all, hi guys, how is everyone? Let me know in the comments, let's have a chat. I painted my nails this really nice colour yesterday, it's by Essie. It is called, insert on screen, because I can't remember, but it's, oh my god, it's the nicest teal colour, and now I can't stop looking at my nails. But yeah, here is the massive pile of clothes next to me. I feel like we should start with accessories, being as they're on the top. I know it's not really the season for Birkenstocks anymore, but my mum did buy me this pair, which I have in brown, and I saw the green and I was like, oh my god, they are so nice, and they were on sale, and Jane kindly bought them for me, so I thought I would include them in this video. If you guys are looking for a really, really comfy pair of sandals, Birkenstocks are my go-to, and I love this colour so much. I haven't seen anyone wear these either in person, so I feel like they're kind of a little bit more unique. Then we have this pair of shoes, which I got in America. I actually got them in TJ Maxx. They're by Rachel Zoe. What do you call these? They're not brogues. I'm actually not sure what you call these type of shoes, but I've been wanting some for quite a while. I think they look really, really cute with autumn outfits and coats. So I decided to pick these ones up. I think they were about $25. I know that they weren't very expensive. And look how lovely they are. I love a chunky shoe, especially in the autumn. I used to wear the chunkiest boots like every single day of my life. And I just feel like I need to go back to my roots of chunky shoes which my girlfriend hates but hey ho I love <laughs> and then before I went to America I got this bag which is actually a Celine bag dupe from Marks and Spencers I think it was either 25 or 30 pounds which is so good you can have it as a little handheld bag it comes with a longer strap that I've just tucked inside so you can wear it crossbody or you can hold them like that and just wear it as a strappy bag like that but yeah love this bag gorgeous Celine dupe I like this for when I'm going out in the evening and I just want a smaller bag it's got three pockets including a zip one and a little pocket at the back so yeah I'll link this if I can because it is such a great dupe and such nice quality I love Marks and Spencers for clothes and bags like their bags are great but their clothes are also great too moving on to actual clothes now so this is kind of covered in fluff from being on my bed but this is an Olivia Rodrigo top that I found in Box Lunch, which is a shop that has a bunch of different merch like Harry Potter, Pokemon, all that stuff, but also has some artist merch. So this is, like I said, a vampire top. It's just got Olivia in red. And then what I like about this top is the back of it. it says Olivia Rodrigo vampire. I wanted to get some merch just in case I managed to snag some tickets for her tour. I didn't actually manage to at the time. The site just would not work for me and I had a family member try and get me the tickets and they were sat all day on the website and it just would not load but hopefully I can pick some up resale because I really want to go and I thought it would be cool to have like a different piece of merch than what she's probably selling there although she might be selling those I'm not sure then I got this top from my little beach trip in the Gulf of Alabama this just says the Gulf Gulf Coast Orange Beach on the front but what I liked about this was the back of it look how cool that is I love when tops have something big and fun on the back so that is just a casual one to tuck into jeans oh I was sent this one from Lucy and Yak but I think it is gorgeous so I wanted to pop it in this video it's this like crepey fabric cropped top but this looks so cool when it's on or at least it did when I tried it on I haven't actually worn this out yet but I'm excited to I think it's lovely and I've not really ever seen a top like this in this kind of fabric with the boob detail I think it's really cool and unique and it's got cuffed sleeves as well so yeah thank you so much to the Lucy and Yak team for sending this over I feel like that's going to be a winter staple what is next oh this jumper from J Crew. it's one of their extra soft jumpers we went to an outlet mall and everything that we got was on sale hence why I've got so much stuff but this is a lovely jumper with a v-neck and a collar and this looks really cool just tucked into black jeans this again is going to be a staple for winter I love jumpers like this I recently got into the triangle neck rather than high neck I used to live in high neck tops like that 
which I still do like, but yeah, I kind of like the V-neck nowadays. Oh, I'll go over these quickly because I did put them in my Primark haul, but if you didn't watch that, I wanted to also include them in here. I got these two tops, again, V-neck. These are an absolute staple for autumn, winter. Look great, tucked into a pair of jeans, and they're nice and warm, but thin at the same time. You know, sometimes in England it gets cold, but when you're like inside shops and things, if you've got a big bulky coat on, you get too hot. It's a flip-flop in England between being too hot and too cold in winter. So these are a nice thin base to wear under a coat, and I got the tan and cream and sage green. How lovely are those? And this starts us out with the colour palette of this video. I have gone very green, beige and black. Let's have a look at this. This was from Air Postal. I'm gonna cut these bad boys out, I hate them. But this is an eyelet top that I can wear over a little bralette. And I tried this on in a vlog that I put on my channel. I tried a black one on as well because I was leaning towards the black but everyone in that video said get green, it suits my skin tone. So. I got the green one, love this, it's just cropped. Next is a top that I got in a couple of colours. Nelly's coming to join me so you might see him. But this is from American Eagle, it's a small and it's just a shirt top. Now I love these shirt tops, especially for when I'm in America because some days it's warm but you do want a little bit of a jacket but not a full jacket because it's too warm to wear a jacket if you know what I mean. So I picked up a few of these, this is just in a creamy white shade and we'll get onto the others in a sec but it looks like we have trousers next. So let's jump into trousers. These trousers were from American Eagle, they were in the sale and these are just a lovely lovely pair of I think they're denim. Yeah, they are denim. Denim wide leg trousers in this tan shade. I've never worn jeans this colour, but I loved how they looked when I tried them on in the dressing room. So I thought that I would pick those up, especially because they were on sale. They were such a good deal. And then we've got a couple of pairs of jeans. The first ones were from Forever 21. Now they were doing a deal across the entire store that was buy one item, get one free. And I saw these jeans and I was like, yes, they look perfect. They are this dark blue kind of wider legged at the bottom, but also a little bit shorter, so like three quarter length. They fit me so well and are so comfy and I never would have gone to Forever 21 for denim, but next time I'm there, I'm gonna have a little look at what else they've got. They're just really lovely jeans. And then we got these ones from American Eagle. Again, I think these were discounted. These are their straight leg black jeans. Again, three quarter length. And I like these because they've got a little bit of a distressed bit over your knee and towards the top of them as well, if you can see that stripe. That's just a fun little look to them. But those again fit me like a glove. I found some really great trousers while I was in America and that's something that I find so hard to find here. So yeah, I'm glad I've got those. Oh, I got a sports bra. I got this Nike one, which actually I might have to sell. I didn't try it on when we were in the shop. I was just like, oh, that'll be fine. But since getting it home, it is just a little bit tight on my boobs. My boobs are a bit too big. So this might end up on Vinted, but yeah, I do love that. I wish I got it in a size that Fleming fit me. Next up is this $4 top. It was on sale and I love it. This is from Air Postal again. What a weird name for a shop. And it's this checkerboard top. I originally tried this on in the changing rooms. Nelly's just staring at me doing this. It's so cute. I've got an audience. I tried this on in the changing rooms with those tan trousers and I thought it looked really cool. So I ended up picking this up. It matches my bedroom so well right now. It's basically the exact same as my rug, my duvet cover and a cushion that I've got over there. So yeah, blending in with my house, but that cost me $4 in the sale. Ooh, then we've got these fun tops. I know my girlfriend really likes these tops. These were from Airy, and I tried the green one on in store. It's a green leather crop top and we both agreed for me to get this. And then I saw the black one and I just couldn't pick. I was like, yes, I will get so much wear out of these. Even under one of those baggy shirts, with jeans just to dress it up a little bit but still be casual. Oh, I love these tops. They are fake leather. They were so comfortable when I tried them on and I can't wait to wear these in autumn, which is now. So I need to start wearing them. <laughs> what is next? Okay, this was another really affordable top that I got from Air Postal. I think I paid again like four or six dollars and it is just a crop. What do you call these kind of tops? Like racerback? Unsure. I don't actually know that many fashion-y terms because I've never really been too into fashion before but I'm just starting to get into it so if you guys can teach me words for things I will use them in my next videos. Oh now we are coming up to the other shirts that I got. This one I was tempted to wear today. I love it. It's an oversized green and cream 
shirt. How lovely is that? They're so soft as well. I actually think these ones were made for men, but I loved them. And then we also have a black, which I've worn. I wore this with black jeans, a black bandeau top and trainers, and it looked great. It was one of my favorite autumn outfits so far. So yeah, what a great find. It's covered in Nelly hair already. Nelly, you are such a monster. I need to lean more in the creamy route of clothes, not black, but black is like, if you're an OG Velvet Ghost fan, you will know I only used to wear black. <laughs> then I got this top, which I'm gonna ask my girlfriend to pick me another color up, or maybe another couple of colors. This is once again a staple, it fits me so perfectly. This was from American Eagle, it's a green and white high neck top. They had this in all different colors, but I just gravitated towards the green, so I got that. But now I wish I'd got black and maybe a plain white one as well. They just fit so well. Then we've got this, which was from TJ Maxx, which is TK Maxx here. Size L, I think it was in TK Maxx because it's got this blue stain on it. But Jane's gonna have a go at getting that out for me. It's on the inside, so it doesn't really matter. But this is a corduroy shirt that again looks great with jeans, a bandeau top, or like that Gulf Shores top and trainers. Just a casual outfit. That is gonna be my autumn wardrobe i think basically these over shirts a bandeau top and jeans it's just so comfy to wear especially around the house the last thing that i got in america was this jumper which both of my parents said make me look like a british gas engineer <laughs> not the look i was going for but it's all right but anyways me and cam saw these in a discount sportswear shop and we just thought it would be so cute of us to get matching ones hers is green on the top then cream and then like burnt orange but they didn't have that one in my size so i ended up getting this blue which to be honest i think suits me Can you hear those pop-ups they're coming for you because you ain't one too many kibble the police are coming oh no <laughs> Oh no! Oh, it's okay, they're not coming for you. Oh my God, I think he can understand me. I'm gonna cry, he looks really sad. <laughs> As I was saying, I got this in this blue color and honestly, I thought this would be great for autumn, winter, specifically in Brighton. It's a very, very warm jumper. Obviously, it's a fleece material and I thought this would be great for just walks to the beach in November time. When you don't really wanna be wearing a massive coat, but a, a nice, fleecy jumper works well. And then the last thing I got are a pair of pajamas from Primark. I got these after my Primark haul, but they're clothing, so I thought I would just include them. These might be my favorite pair, because if you saw my Primark haul, I said that I've been living in this grave set of pajamas that I have like five pairs of because I love it so much. When you wash it, it doesn't shrink, it doesn't go weird. The fabric is just so comfortable. And they've brought it out this year in a different pattern. So this is a cream pattern with autumn leaves on it and a long sleeve shirt because they only had that gray set in a vest top for summer. So I've got some wide leg trousers and this long sleeve shirt. And what I like is they finish off the bottom really nicely. So yeah, these are, I think are gonna be my new go-to pair of pajamas. I love them. And those are all the clothes that I picked up when I was in America. Let me know what your favorite item was in the comments and as I said I will try and link as much as possible if not find something very similar in the down bar oh my god I just panicked so I thought I wasn't filming this whole time I've done that before you know I've like done whole videos and then realized I'm not filming and it's the worst when it's a makeup video and then you've done your makeup so you can't refilm it unless you want to take it all off which is a waste but yeah I did want to let you know that I am filming a video every day fingers crossed in November so get excited for that be sure to subscribe if you're not already. It will be a mixture of sit down videos like this, hauls, Q and A's, decorating my apartment for Christmas. I've got a new Christmas tree that I'm very excited about. It's one of those pre-lit ones, so I don't have to faff with the lights. Anyways, as I was saying, it's gonna be a mixture of vlogs, sit down videos, decorating for Christmas, all different types of videos. I am gonna pre-film a couple just in case I inevitably get a cold halfway through so that hopefully I can stick to uploading every day. And I wanted to do it in November instead of December because a lot of people do Vlogmas in December and I feel like it's overwhelming with the amount of videos that you have. My watch later ends up having like over 200 videos in it after Vlogmas of all the peoples that I just couldn't watch. So I thought I will do it in November. You can get Vlogmas early. I'm still gonna decorate for Christmas. Christmas and stuff. Just have a really nice month. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already. I'm gonna go film the try on clips for this video and I will see you very soon. Bye!